What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day because it marks the very last day of my entire diagnostic radiology residency career. And I know you've probably seen my last video where I said this is my last rotation of diagnostic radiology. I still have one more vascular surgery rotation, but that's purely interventional. However, this is my last diagnostic radiology day pretty much ever. So today is my last day on vascular imaging, and I'm reading a whole bunch of CTAs for our famous aorta repair guy here. We usually read about 20 aorta studies in which we analyze the vasculature, mainly the aorta and the branch vessels, so that our endovascular aortic specialist can do all of his kind of pre-planning or pre-procedure planning prior to the procedure when they repair the aorta. So that's what I'm doing today. It's my last day. I can't believe it, which means I only have three weeks left of residency and no more diagnostic days. So I don't know what to even know what to say, but this is my last day and I'm super excited. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is today I went to the primary care doctor because I have to do all of this pre-fellowship physical stuff, fill out a bajillion forms, as many of you all know who have done this. I don't know why, but it's just like so easy to neglect your own personal health for some reason. We're super busy in residency and we always forget the importance of taking care of ourselves, which is kind of why I went to the primary care doc today because what better time to do it than when I have to do it. So basically I was forced to do it, but since I was forced, I went ahead and got like all of my lab work that I've been putting off forever. I basically got a little puncture site there. I did like every lab I could do. I did COVID antibody testing, all of that stuff. So hopefully it'll be back in the next few days and everything will be cleared for when I start my fellowship. So I forgot to tell y'all, just want to tell you all that because you need to take care of yourselves. So for whoever who is putting off going to the doctor themselves, go ahead and go make an appointment. You're supposed to go about every year or so. Go do that if you've been putting it off. I feel like less anxious now that I've done it. For some reason, I guess I kind of have physician anxiety as well, even though I'm a physician. Because at the end of the day, I mean, I don't like sitting in that paper exam room either and I even know what's going on the whole time, so I can imagine for people who don't know. But anyways, if you've been putting it off, go take care of that. Okay, that's my PSA for today. Also, are we just not gonna comment on how shiny my face is in this video? I started to use this vitamin C cream that Andriana gets, you know, because I'm trying to stay young. Also, my hair is super long, and I'm like all over the place today, so just try to hang tight. CT I will ever read in residency. I'm glad I ended with a CT chest out of the pelvis, CTA endo study chest out of the pelvis. It's the best way to end on. So that officially concludes my diagnostic radiology residency training. Holy cow, I can't believe it's over. And just like that with my long hair, we are officially We are officially done with diagnostic residency. Also, it is my wife's last day of work today in North Carolina before she moves to New York. And I'm at her office right now to pick up some stuff because she got a whole bunch of goodies to take home with her as a goodbye present. And we'll say goodbye one last time to her clinic. Okay, hon. What, it's your last day? So? I'm excited.
Okay, we have to social distance. You may be wondering why I went to the beach today. Well, for starters, I haven't been to the beach in like three years, even though we live about an hour and a half, two hours away from it. So that's a start. Second of all, as you saw, I finished my last diagnostic rotation of my entire career. And I am super excited about it, that I'm done with my last rotation, diagnostic of my entire career. So we decided to treat ourselves for a little beach time. Plus, it's Andreana's birthday, a few days here, so. I don't know if you can hear me now, but this is the lovely beach. Wrightsville, North Carolina. All right, so I'm officially back in the hospital now. I, uh, I didn't film while I was at the beach yesterday because I just wanted to enjoy it. It's Andrea's birthday tomorrow. It was a weekend of celebrating my last diagnostic radiology rotation. I only have three weeks left of residency left. So we just kind of wanted to celebrate and relax and actually enjoy being somewhere other than our house or the hospital. So it was actually pretty nice. Um, I just started vascular surgery today. And for some reason I had to round at 6 a.m. Which means I had to set my alarm at 4.40 a.m. Which I haven't done since intern year on surgery. So that was exciting. Um, we have a case today at 9.30, which I think is like lower extremity angiogram. I don't do too much peripheral arterial disease work. So I'm really excited to learn the vascular craft, if you will. But right now, I have a good like hour and a half before that case starts. And I don't really have any responsibility because vascular surgery isn't my specialty. So anyways, I got breakfast. Eggs and bacon. I got bacon because my labs that I got last week are perfect. So, splurge on a little bacon today. And just like that, this is a beautiful day out again. And I officially finished my first day of vascular surgery. It's actually pretty good. I ended up doing two. Oh my god, look at that hair. I mean, I need a haircut so bad. We're getting one Friday, five days. Anyways, so today went well. Did two lower extremity runoff angiograms and a little balloon, a little stenting, the usual. And now I'm going home. Actually, we're going to sell Andrana's car because she is leaving for New York in six days. She's going up two weeks ahead of me. And we're going to drop her car off at the place we sold it. And I'm gonna go meet her right now. Adriana's finally saying bye to her first car. Is this your first car? Second car? Yeah. It's her second car, her baby. She's had for how many years now? Um, how many years? Seven. Seven years? Yeah. Are you going to miss it? I am. She just sold her car. So Lacey. Are you upset? I'm very upset. <laughs> She'll go to a good home, I bet. I hope so. We'll see. Hope someone takes care of Lacey. <laughs> all right, so I know this vlog has kind of been all over the place with me ending residency and then me going to the beach and then me also starting another vascular surgery rotation, but I don't really know what I was trying to do. It's just some hodgepodge video I was planning on making a whole video about how I'm going to miss residency, but then I kind of realized I did that already. And then we just kind of got caught up in life situation because we're moving right now and it's super hectic. I still have tons of stuff to do and keeping up with all this social media stuff is also hard when I'm also trying to do a surgery rotation as well, as you can imagine. So thank you all for watching this. Thank you all for sticking through till the end. I really appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I have so many other videos coming down the pipe. I'm so excited about moving to New York City and showing you all the city, showing you all my apartment, you know, just kind of the whole city vibe. And living in New York, you just kind of have this like creative vibe. Just walking around there gives you like creative vibe. 
I don't know, it's really hard to explain unless you actually live there, but you just feel inspired to create cool content and all this stuff. I'm also getting a new computer, also getting new editing software, also getting a new desk set up once I move into my new apartment. So a lot of stuff is coming within the next couple of weeks. Make sure you all smash that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.